What's up everybody? I just picked up this X Products XM42 Lite flamethrower in red. Um, really cool. I live in Arizona. This got delivered to me from Cottonwood today. Um, I actually met up with the sales rep for the company and uh, everything was really rad and easy. Uh, super easy process uh, upon pickup. Now, granted, if you do order this, you're going to have to do an email version of the uh, re uh, release form or... You're going to have to sign a waiver. I'm sorry, not a release form. A waiver online via email. I signed it in person. Got my flamethrower out of the back of their trunk. It was awesome. Um, all I did was cut this open here and removed a couple other things. So um, I used my brutal knives. This is my uh, really badass cleaver here. Brutal knives on Instagram. Really dope guy. Um, makes an incredible knife, so... I'll link you guys to the bottom of this. Um, hoping I can get a tripod and get some new films go, new videos going. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at this. I'm gonna do this all one-handed, so don't mind me. So second, you open this guy up. Now, I'm making this video because I haven't seen an unboxing of the light model by X Products. These guys make incredible stuff. Uh, I mean, just looking at this thing, it's. The build quality is insane on it. So, when I first opened it up just 30 minutes ago, there was a cover over this guy, which is the, uh, they protected it really well. They, they give you a warning saying this uh, ignition switch is pretty, uh, pretty easily um, uh, breakable. Uh, breaks really easy, so you got to be real careful with that. They don't want you to lean it on its right-hand side or drop it. Lay it upside down, whatever you, whatever you got going on. But uh, just looking at the build quality here, everything is legit. There's a nozzle cover up top I got to remove. Um, so I'm an engineer by trade, and just looking at the mechanics of this guy, it looks really simple. You got a power button here to turn on your battery inside. I haven't pried that open. Um, I assume from other videos it's going to be an RC car battery. Um, they give you a charger in here, which I'll go through here in a second, but I hate when guys do unboxing videos and they don't get to the main product. They go through all the other bullshit first. So power button, um, I believe battery here. You got your switch to activate this fuel pump right here. This is just a normal car fuel pump. It looks like nothing else and some sort of crazy, uh, nozzle up front that, uh, probably isn't too complex. Obviously, your pilot starting fuel up here uses these butane tanks. Um, I'll attach one. You'll see it being shot in this video. I'm going to go over, over to a buddy's house, and we're going to shoot it behind a canal uh, for first shots. But it's about everything you get. Um, I think specs, it weighs about 8 pounds. Super light. I can tell everything here is uh, definitely stainless steel. Uh, maybe some mild steel. I'm not too sure. No, you know what? holds fuel up here so it's got to be uh, some sort of stainless steel um, this guy twists up yeah stainless steel of some sort and it fe feeds right down in there fuel pump activated by this switch and then you control your butane flow right here. So all you're doing with this mechanism here, super easy. It's just like a normal uh, grill. Just your average average grill. You're getting a uh, pilot flame right here, ignition spark flame, and then you're feeding it with gas or uh, whatever you want. I actually just got back from the gas station, got a half mix of diesel and 91 um, fuel. I heard that works best with this system. So we'll see how that goes. I'll try out a couple different mixtures, but really dope. I actually think I'm going to add a handle right here. I think I'm going to take all these mechanisms out and add a handle or do some sort of C-grip on my CNC mill. Um, I'm sorry, C-clamp and clamp on a handle out here. So you have two, two forms of grip, just like the previous model that this company did release. X Products, by the way, not Ion Productions. Totally different company. Um... I assume, uh, you know what, Ion Productions might be out of business, 
X products might have taken over. I'm not too sure. Super confusing. We'll get back to this guy though here in a bit uh, in a later video. Looking through the box, we got the user manual, operation and safety. Um, yeah, not too much in here. You know what? I probably could have bought the bigger butane tanks. I saw one about this size. I got the tiny guys. They'll still work. These are about five bucks here at Walmart. Uh, and actually, Walmart's not going to have my business anymore. They're getting rid of all the uh, ammunition, guns, sales, uh, all that crazy stuff. So when I went to Walmart today, 9-11-2019, they had guns there for sale. So must not be in effect just yet. And actually, the only thing you do get that charger get it out compact charger us plug uh just a really shoddy uh rc car plug i'm guessing back when i used to be in my rc car days yep exactly like that so simple to the point um you know, previous models said you could actually take this plug out and have the charging in there. But I think you have to remove this cover to charge it now. No big deal. Not a big worry to me. I assume that battery in there will last quite a bit. I'm not too sure. And actually... There's no charge in there, so I'm going to have to charge it up before I go shoot. All right, guys, that's it for the XM42 Lite Flamethrower by X Products. Really cool product. Uh, as far as I know, they're just selling this in black and red. They might have them in other colors like that, but I didn't see any. Red was really appealing to me considering all my other weapons. Um, they're black, so got to get some color going. Next footage you'll see is of me shooting the piss out of this thing. Ha, ha, ha.